Carolina. It's Juliet. Come right over here. I've got something for the girls of Savannah and all of America and all the world, and we're going to start it tonight. And with that call on March 12, 1912, Juliet Gordon Lowe forever changed the lives of millions of American girls and their communities. 100 years of Girl Scouts, countless friendships, limitless adventures, enduring life lessons, a century of making the world a better place. In every era and through numerous trends of the past century, Girl Scouts of the USA has been courageous and strong and emerged as the nation's premier leadership organization for girls. We celebrate this legacy and reaffirm our commitment to inspire and prepare future generations with the highest ideals of character, conduct, patriotism, and service that they may become happy and resourceful citizens, leaders in our communities, our businesses, our families, and our nation. From the very beginning, the movement took pride in its efforts to make Girl Scouts available to girls of all abilities, all races, all religions, and income levels. Juliet was determined that no matter where a girl lived or where she was from, she could be a Girl Scout. In those early days, the girls donned blue uniforms and focused on careers, nature, first aid, and team sports. During World War I, they planted victory gardens and sold over $9 million in war bonds. The first troop in Tulsa was formed in 1917 and was named the Sunflower Troop. Girl Scouting grew quickly in the area, and in 1923, the first local council was formed with 15 troops. In keeping with Juliet's goal of ensuring girls had the same access to activities as boys, interest in camping exploded nationwide, and by 1924, more than 38,000 Girl Scouts attended camp at 304 locations around the country. We had Girl Scouts camping in the northern woods and redwood forests, in winter snow and on the seashore. They learned to pitch tents and build campfires just as handily as they could mend a garment or tidy a house. We were preparing our girls for a future with choices. Oklahoma made national history in 1917 when the Mistletoe Troop in Muskogee sold cookies to raise money for a service project. It is the earliest recorded sale of cookies by Girl Scouts. Cookie sales hit the national stage in 1922 when Girl Scouts nationwide baked and packaged their cookies at home using one standard sugar cookie recipe. Tulsa's first cookie sale was launched in 1928 to fund a camping program on 12 acres donated by H.J. Scott. Cookies weren't the only sweet thing Girl Scouts brought to America. In 1927, a Girl Scout publication has what appears to be the first ever recorded recipe for what is now an American camping tradition, s'mores. That wonderful, sweet, gooey confection of roasted marshmallows coupled with chocolate and sandwiched between graham crackers. Through the nation's tumultuous 30s and 40s, with the Great Depression and World War II, Girl Scouts led community relief efforts by collecting clothing, carving wood toys, and providing meals to undernourished children. They volunteered in hospitals, operated bicycle courier services, and collected personal necessities used by soldiers on the battlefields. Throughout those years, the Girl Scouts could always be identified by their practical and unfussy uniforms, appropriate for both indoor and outdoor activities. Beginning as dark blue, the uniforms changed to khaki and gray-green until the 1940s when fashion took hold and led a designer-created line of uniforms in Girl Scout Green. In the 1950s, National Girl Scout membership exploded with 1.5 million girls joining the movement. The local council changed names twice, first as Tulsa Council of Girl Scouts in 1952, and then Magic Empire Council in 1956. During this time, many councils bought large tracts of land to develop camps. Tulsa saw its troop house built during this time, as well as Camp Sylvia Stapley in Stillwater. The trend continued into the 1960s, when Camp Washaji was added in Bartlesville and Camp Pauline Williams in Fort Gibson. Always progressive, Girl Scouts were at the forefront of integration, acceptance, and inclusion. At a time when water fountains for black people and white people were still separate in many parts of the country, Girl Scouts stood together, being a sister to every Girl Scout, with the common bond of their promise and law. 
They'd simply never done it any other way. When I said I had something for the girls of all America, I meant all America, period. As our country went through tremendous cultural changes in the 60s and 70s, making its way through the Vietnam conflict and the frenzy of Woodstock, Girl Scouts remained a beacon and offered girls a sort of moral compass, an outlet for positive activity and positive change. By this time, membership had reached nearly four million. The national focus on the environment, social justice, and women's rights proved Girl Scout programming was right on target, if not far ahead of its time, already on the cutting edge and making a difference rather than reacting to important issues. The Girl Scout brand changed during this time with the new promise and law of to serve God, my country, and mankind, and a new trefoil with the silhouetted faces. After experiencing a decline in membership in the 70s, Girl Scout membership rebounded in the 80s, reaching 3 million. Many of those members were part of the new opportunity for five-year-olds, being a Girl Scout daisy. To accommodate its own burgeoning number of Girl Scouts and campers, the Magic Empire Council began Camp Tall Chief on Zinc Ranch and Camp Tin Killer in Tahlequah. With a continued focus on the environment, girls' issues, inclusivity, and health and fitness, Girl Scouts proved its resilience in the face of issues women of Juliet's era could never have imagined. Who would have thought that in 1984, an active adult Girl Scout, Catherine Sullivan, would become the first woman to walk in space. When I called those 18 girls together back on that warm spring evening in 1912, I never dreamed that a woman would fly into outer space. But of course, if a woman were to do that, and be the first woman to do that, it just makes sense that she was a Girl Scout. During this time, another key addition was made to the Magic Empire Council of Girl Scouts the formation of the Juliet Lowe Leadership Society. A group of area women leaders formed the society to advocate, mentor, and raise financial resources to support the council, its programs, and most importantly, its Girl Scouts. As one founding member said, we know the power of leadership and are determined to make that experience possible for all young women to pursue. Since its founding, more than $2 million has been raised for Girl Scouts in the Tulsa Area Council. And now, six communities in the council have their own societies. Our nation, and indeed the world, hurtled through the 90s as massive and rapid changes in technology affected every aspect of our lives. Women began making strides like never before. Girl Scouts plunged into opportunities to explore science and technology. Yet true to their roots, Girl Scouts also ensured that girls had no shortage of things to do away from computer screens and into the wide outdoors. Girl Scout cookies were reviewed and new, healthier varieties were introduced and continued to be as popular as ever, giving girls the opportunity to hone their business skills. As we watched the turn of a new century, Girl Scouts launched new programs including personal and global awareness, adventure sports, and environmental health. Worldwide travel only continues to grow as girls participate in destinations and visit one of the world centers in Mexico, Switzerland, England, and India. In 2008, the Magic Empire Council combined with the Blue Stem and Tyak Councils to form the Girl Scouts of Eastern Oklahoma. In Oklahoma, Girl Scouts Beyond Bars has become a force for change bringing courage, confidence, and character to girls and their incarcerated mothers. Powered Up brings uniquely effective training to girls that diffuses bullying and relational aggression. With national membership again approaching four million, Girl Scouts are constantly evolving. The new National Girl Scout Program portfolio offers an integrated approach from legacy badges to leadership journeys. Bronze, silver, and gold awards have been refreshed, and girls can also earn the recently launched My Promise, My Faith pin, in addition to the myriad of earned awards available. From outdoor education to outreach, technology to travel, Girl Scouts continue to discover, connect, and take action, making their leadership experience one that impacts not only their lives as girls, 
but their future as adults. The century ahead of us lies as a blank slate, just waiting for the next chapter of Girl Scouts to be written. Courage, confidence, and character. As long as Girl Scouts continues to build these in girls, we will make the world a better place. And we will be here for a long, long time.